in this overview you can clearly see it's clearly visible what's the difference between the three players let's answer the question which Messi is the best one they have all their strength and weaknesses their weaknesses in my opinion are just their play styles but beside that all of them three are two broken most broken cards in this game we are starting with the Argentina version Lionel Messi the first one is the auto allocate it's the leveling from Konami and the second one is my personal individualized leveling it's absolutely unreal there's no other player included in game which has got this high physical contact combined with this balance it's absolutely ridiculous and this is how it looks like in game with this acceleration in combination with the dribbling abilities above 100 this guy is so hard to stop you can see it here i'm playing against relatively good opponents that are not npcs or something but it's so hard to stop this guy especially with this his shielding function makes him ridiculously strong he's pushing away players like the lift or ruben diaz he's so strong with his physical contact on 93 and that makes him absolutely broken in my opinion it's it's a big advantage if you are able to use it you will be so so effective and what i've experienced also is that i'm getting so many faults with this guy and he doesn't even have gamesmanship every game i'm getting faults everybody is fouling this guy i don't know if it's because of his physical contact or not i've received so many penalties and so on but the problem is he's got injury resistance on medium so i was not able to keep playing with him anymore let's talk about his behavior as a center forward especially as a deep line forward he is often dropping back to receive the ball he's clinical without a doubt but this play style in counter attack systems is not the best you can see it here neymar wants to run to the front while messi is dropping back to receive the ball sometimes it can help you sometimes it's not so necessary in my opinion but if you go for possession or something it's really usable as an amf we have a really awkward situation here and i will show you what i mean first of all every messy version is good in passing with the one touch pass through pass or they can also do lofted passes they are really good that's not the problem the problem is the running behavior for example in the meta system he is always dropping back also as an amf he is not attacking as a front player. He wants to initiate the counter attack or the build up game. In a possession system, it can work really well. In a counter system, I can't recommend it that much because you want pace, you want speed in your build up, in your counter attacks, and he's slowing it down with his play style because he's a deep line forward. When he's in chance, he will have a great, great finishing, he will have great assists, but to bring him in that kind of situation it's hard you can see it here if you're in front of him this is now really awkward he is mirroring your own moves like i'm running to the left with kante he's running to the left i'm running to the bottom side messi is also running to the bottom side so he is controlled like the buttons i am using he is running the same way it's like i am controlling two players at the same time the additional skills which i recommend for the argentina version 2022 are first of all flip flop second Marseille turn third soul control fourth acrobatic finishing and fifth outside curler because his weak foot accuracy is only on high and his weak foot usage is almost never therefore outside curler is mandatory for this guy now what about the 2015 messi at the first view he looks so so good because he's got this kicking power of 101 which is unreal in my opinion you can see how i leveled him i gave him a little more kicking power to increase this effect on the pitch his dribble ability is all above 91 plus in combination with this pace with this finishing and this attacking awareness he looks like a real weapon let's have a look i am using him again as a right center forward and in the first situation <laughs> is messi a game changer 
I don't know. No sé, hermanos. You can see that he is a game changer, a real game changer. His kicking power with this knock on shots. Man, it's so, so effective. And look at these dribblings. So responsive, so agile, so nimble. So if I'm using him as a left center forward, he can shoot with both feet. Stunning shots, curl shots, distance shots. It's unbelievable. Knock-ons with the right foot chip shots. As you can see it here, that makes him unpredictable. Really, really unpredictable. In combination with his dribbling skills and with his pace. So hard to stop. Look at this. Like five, six people around him to stop him. But now let's have a talk about his positioning. You can see it here. Also, this guy is dropping back a lot as a creative playmaker on the center forward position. While the other forwards are always trying to run behind the opponent's back line. I don't talk about the passing, man. It's crazy. Lofted passes, from the ground passes, through passes. Fantastic. There's almost no other guy who can pass like that. Also with the outside curlers, as you can see it here in this situation. It can, it can open up so much for you and it can provide you lots of lots of goals. I don't talk about that, but the creative playmaker is unpredictable as a play style. Because sometimes he is running to the front and sometimes he is interrupting his sprint and is stopping. Going into another direction. Here you can see again. Now he's taking his pace again and running to the front. But not all the time. He is not dashing all the time. Sometimes you are waiting for him to run and he isn't. Like here. I'm doing the through pass and this guy is stopping. So I need to think. Is he running now or not? It's too unpredictable. The runs. With the run and stop. Run and stop. I don't like that too much to be honest. And that's the reason why I prefer whole players on the AMF position. The additional skills for the 2015 version Lionel Messi, in my opinion, the best are, first of all, flip-flop. Second, the soul control, especially because it leads to a better execution of the knock-on shot that he can do it instantly without first stopping the ball. The third one is knuckle shot. With his kicking power, it makes lots of sense to level also his kicking skills. The fourth one is acrobatic finishing once again. And the fifth one is Masse turn for the nimbleness, for the agility. We've got the year 2009. And here you go with Lionel Messi kissing his boot. If you see this, what is your first thought? For me, with this speed, with this pace, in general, this acceleration above 100, bro, 102 acceleration, 94 speed. It's so crazy, man. It's insane. And as if this wouldn't be enough, he's got a high attacking awareness and high finishing. What Konami did here, you can see, they decreased his dribbling a lot compared to the other big time messes. It's still high, okay, with 95 in dribbling bro it's broken anyway but compared to the other messes you can see that they decrease it so much and there's a reason behind in my opinion in this game pace matters the most it was almost always like that also in pro evolution soccer doesn't matter of mobile xbox pc playstation it's all the same in this game pace matters the most and there's a meaning behind why konami decreased his dribbling stats in that way because this speed bro mind-blowing this is what i mean with mind-blowing just take care of messi now will my counter attack i'm starting the counter attack after the corner kick and this guy is going for a dash now just look from my own goal to the other goal within seconds and then this dribbling, bro. This agility. This dynamic style. To be honest, I was really, really impressed from this guy. From his nimbleness. Look at this close and tight dribblings. I'm playing against 
really strong opponent here and he is struggling so hard to get the ball it's for me just a cheat code to have fast players insanely fast players but with high dribbling and high finishing also i don't want to start with the attacking awareness it's just a big big cheat code in my opinion and you can feel the abilities on the fit pitch definitely you can feel it it's noticeable and he is the roman flank what this means i am showing you now in the next examples he is playing on the wings and cutting inside and he is doing this almost every time in this situation he is the center forward okay doesn't make a difference for him right now sometimes you can take an advantage of this if you are looking for the wings if there are gaps in the wings and you want to cut inside but if you want to play from the center it's a problem because he's cutting inside and then going to the top again or to the wings and then again cutting inside he's just waiting for his opportunity to receive the ball his main area is the wing to play his cutting inside is just at the end of the sprint and this is where you can be effective with him and create goal chances whether it's by scoring yourself or giving the last assist but what this guy is doing is always running to the wings and waiting there for his chance so if you are a winger if you are a player who loves to play from the wing this can be really useful for you really useful if you are a center player then you can have issues with this to be honest he's compensating this play style with his insane statistics insane abilities just this super pace combined with the attacking awareness dribbling and finishing it's one of a kind now for me the most interesting part is his behavior as an amf we've already experienced that this guy can overcome the opponent's team in no time i don't talk about the center i'm talking about the whole pitch this is a big advantage to speed up your own gameplay like that he can pass like every other messi i've mentioned but what makes him special is his running behavior without the ball while you're attacking this guy is always trying to look for the opponent's goal he's always attacking always running to the front without hesitating without stopping you can see it also here in this example he is jumping just above the ball and still keep running to the front to receive the second ball here i'm opening up the game and this guy is already starting to dash and then with the next pass he's still dashing he's going for the next step Ooh, this is what i was really looking for as an amf player to be honest this is what a whole player does didn't expect this from a roaming flank messi but in my opinion wow i was impressed let's go for the skill let's go for the additional skills for the 2009 Lionel Messi version guys first one is again flip flop second is Marseille turn guys we need this nimbleness we need this agility we need them fast and agile guys this is too important third one is acrobatic finishing just a must-have for center forwards check out my skill video my must-have skills video guys it's still up to date with the fourth I go for weighted pass because this guy is insane on the AMF position and with one touch pass, through pass and weighted pass combo, bam. And the fifth one is outside curler. And with these five additional skills equipped, you are doing nothing wrong. In this overview, you can clearly see, it's clearly visible, what's the difference between the three players. We are starting here with the deep line forward one, who's always dropping back to receive the ball. I'm talking with the center forward position almost the same with the creative playmaker 2015 version Lionel Messi also this creative playmaker version was dropping a lot to the back and with the roaming flank version as a center forward we've experienced that he's always running to the rings and then cutting inside and we've got the same now for the AMF position starting with the deep line forward again that was for me the most awkward situation while he was doing the same directions like i did with the same inputs also without pressing anything it was unreal for me and this is something which i don't want in my meta system the second one was a mixture of the first and the third one 
he was a little unpredictable sometimes he's dashing sometimes he's stopping but the third one with the roaming flag he acted like a whole player for me which i really enjoyed a lot and which created many many chances for me especially in combination with his speed advantage unreal let's answer the question which version of these messies is the best when I go for the AMF and winger positions, I definitely go for the 2009 version of Lionel Messi. This pace combined with this dribbling and attacking awareness finishing. I've never seen something like that before. Wow. This guy can be a serious danger to replace my Kaka in my AMF system. I'm telling you how it is, guys. On the center forward position, I would take the deep line forward one because he is so strong. Also, another point which I've never experienced before, this physicality combined with this pace unreal if you go for a 442 diamond system or you are used to play with creative playmakers the 2015 one is your man to go with this kicking power this speed this dribbling you will be able to score from the back you will be able to dribble through the whole defense so versatile man go for that guy don't hesitate to hit the like button, guys. And for sure, subscribe to my channel. There are lots of topics coming in the next days and weeks, like how to defend the best way, how to attack and create goal chances, best tactics, formations, a lot of stuff coming. And let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and if you have any other questions, I will try to reply to all of them. Thanks for your limitless support. I will leave you with a nice and smooth... BAM, Junge!